Hey, Wade on the Welder. Today's video is going to be how to uh, set up and run a um, wire feeder off of a XMT350 Miller. All right, so this is your normal setup in the class. These machines are being used by several people every day. Right now, we, we had set up for stick welding. This is our electrode lead. This is our ground, okay? Over here is our power source lead coming in from the, uh, the 22A wire feeder. And up here is our pin connector, which is actually what tells the gas and everything else to come on too. All right, so first thing we gotta do is undo the positive. Take your electrode holder off. You can wind it up, set it up on top of the machine if you want. You're gonna take this quick connect here it goes in like this, and then a little twist. It gets tight, that's where we want it. And we're gonna take this pin connector, and you see that little, see that little notch out right there? And that goes to the top. It goes to the top. So you can kinda of just turn it in there, it sits in. Okay, give it a couple screws there. That's, this doesn't have to be taken off every time, this pin connector. Once we start the, um, this semester, we'll probably just leave it on. Now, if you're going to be switching back forth to a, to, a, to a pedal unit on TIG, yes, you're going to need to undo it both times. Next step would be flip your, your cage down here. You can see it's on stick. We're going to want to run that over to the MIG. Okay, so we'll flip that over. Notice the dial changes up a little bit. And we can see that we're using volts. What, where are the amps at? There is no amps. They're there, but we're not registering them. Okay, we're going to run the machine off of volts. Okay, flip that back up. Come up into your wire remote. Notice it's not on here. Okay, if you look around the back side over here, there's a switch right over here. That is your reset. That is your power on switch. Notice the red light means it is on. Come back down to the front and it's on. It's gonna say we got 26.8 volts and we got 26.7 volts here on, on the, uh, the power source. No big deal, no worries. Let's get where we can see that good. Right now this switch tells us the volts. So I can change the volts right here. All right, now if I switch this over, wire speed is at 188 inches per minute, so we can bump it up to where we need to be. Okay, so you can set these back and forth here with the, the switch, make sure it's in the right spot. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open our box here, side cabinet. We're gonna make sure our wire it's right, it's running through, doesn't have any kinks. It's got some, some it's real close in there, tensions on it right, make sure we got the right rollers on there. I see that is, yeah, 035, which is what we're using, okay? Make sure this knob's tightened down if it's backed out in here. If it's backed out, you can see a lot of brass in here. That probably means your gas flow is gonna go through here and your, your O-rings are not working like they should. All right, make sure this connector here is pushed down in there snug. All right, if one of them's going to, if one of them backs out, you know, if one of them backs out, you don't have no trigger, okay? It's not going to tell it to do anything. This trigger tells the wire to start and it tells the gas solenoid to open, all right? Looking back here, we got to make sure that our wire is, is not coming off the top, that it's actually coming off the bottom. It feeds easier. Make sure your plate's on. Your little cover pin here, that should be on also. Now, notice we don't have a gas on this cart at the school. All our gas is run off a manifold system. And to turn our gas on for the manifold system, we come up here. That valve is going to be on now. As you heard it, the ball just jumped up. We're going to run about 25 to 30 cubic feet per hour for our gas. One, these are usually set. You don't need to be messing with them, okay? And at the end of every day, you have to turn this gas off. 
sideways is off, up and down is on. If you leave this on at the end of the day, you're gonna get a zero. Keep it off, turn it off, leave it off. And then our cords and all our leads will be put back on, wrapped around the, the tray here, the handle on your cart, okay? So again, power on up here, switch it to MIG mode, switch your power leads, make sure your pin connector's in, make sure your machine is on at the back here, and you're set and ready, set and ready to weld.